Austin, also known as Chap Lips. I've been a groomer, a cat operator for two years now, two seasons here at Bear Mountain. I was park staff for five years. The reason I started is I snowboard a lot. I love snowboarding, I love the industry. Uh, and so terrain parks was kind of a good way to get in there and actually start seeing how everything was built. And lo and behold, I ended up in a cat, learning how everything else is built, how snow features are built. And kind of wanted to start this video and go into a little more detail on how a cat operates, how you operate a snow cat, how the blade works. I haven't really found any videos or any other videos online kind of explaining it when I was starting. So I thought it was kind of something that was important to talk about or something cool for somebody new, somebody just thinking about getting into it, somebody who wants to get into snow cats, wanted to go over kind of just the basics and things that I wish I knew when I started that I do know now, even after only two years, two seasons of doing it. So, love this job. Uh, if you're thinking about getting into snow cats, it's awesome. It's super fun. You get to see a whole nother side of the industry and like the behind the scenes. There's really never a time where there's nobody on hill, where there's nobody working. And my shifts at Bear are usually 4 p.m. till midnight or whenever we finish, basically whenever everything's done. A lot of other mountains have fleet grooming. We call it travel here. Uh, fleet grooming is like flat grooming, just the run without any snow features, any terrain features, rails, jumps, jibs, whatever. Definitely a good job. It's very rewarding because you get to build stuff or maintain stuff and go hit it the next day and go ride it the next day and if you did a good job you know because you're the one riding it if you did a bad job you know because you're the one who built it the only downside uh, is kind of the hours it, it's a late shift uh, so you got to get used to kind of the night owl thing if you're a night owl like myself or just have insomnia and you stay awake it's a good job for you but on top of that, still everything is it's still different every night. You don't really take the same path, uh, the same you know, left side skiers left to right or right to left. Or the run can be different. The conditions are always different. They're changing from warm to cold. So you can always kind of you know, have something different. So it can be a con for some people. Uh, but if you like figuring it out, you like puzzle solving or problem solving, you always are looking for a, a faster way or a better way to get in certain positions or get in certain areas and you know, make it nice. Uh, so first things first, this is the blade. This is a Park Pro blade if you're driving a Park Pro cat. Uh, it's kind of got a better articulation. You can kind of fold it as far back as you need, especially for bigger jumps and bigger features. spikes on the top right here for ice and icy conditions. These things can climb some pretty steep things without a winch. Back here, these are your dumbo ears. These things flip down. That way they're also called side finishers. That way if you start missing spots or you're trying to make a light turn, you can kind of catch some of that stuff if you're trying to the other side. This is your tiller. This whole thing is your tiller under here are your tiller teeth. These are your actual teeth that break up the snow, kind of process it so it's nice and soft again. This is your finisher. And this is what actually drags behind the tiller once it processes the snow. And this is what leaves behind this corduroy finish to make it all nice. The tiller can fix a lot of pretty messed up and off kilter snow, but can't fix everything. That's why you got the blade. You can make it all flat and stuff. 
this little flap. This is your snow chamber or your snow processor, uh, tiller box, whatever they call it, a few things. But this is what you can open or close that'll hold snow in for a certain amount of time. Uh, that'll make sure it processes the snow longer. So all the snow gets ground up here, catches in here and stays for a sec until it's nice and fine. And then it lets it out the back and it's, it makes it all nice and fine like this. Instead of it being super chunky, if this is all the way closed, it's not going to really get everything. So unless it's fresh snow, but you want it to usually be about halfway open in most conditions. That was the outside of the cat. This, uh, I'll go into detail, I guess, on the inside of the cat, what all the switches do, the joystick, the sticks, uh, how to turn the RPMs up so you can actually get going, turning the tiller on, all that stuff. Up top here, we have your lights. This is your alarm lights. Sets off, you kind of see them, your strobes. Everything else turns all the lights on outside the cat and this is your spotlight right here kind of a 360 degree spotlight so once your cat's warmed up you're good to go first thing you want to do is use this little rotating uh, turnstile right here you want to make sure it's all the way down all the way back if it's kind of a little bit up it won't work so you go all the way down back up you want to put it right in between the O and the N. That's where you want your RPMs. At that point, you can lift your blade using the joys. This is the underside of the joystick. You have two buttons. This right here, this button, controls your wings, open and close. This upper button right here, you hold that. You hold this thumb button you can lift your tiller up or down wherever you need. This little button right here controls your tiller. If you hold it and you move the stick up, you can lift the tiller up. If you go down, you can drop the tiller down. Kind of hard to show, but this little shift switch right here, if you press down, it'll drop your tiller and start spinning start tilling you don't want to be sitting still in the cat or you're just going to dig a hole basically so as you go you drop it and it'll start tilling processing the snow this right here controls your up pressure float pressure and down pressure for the tiller if it's new snow you can use down pressure to really pack it in um, or if it's new and you don't want to pack it down you can use up pressure and that'll make sure that the snow stays nice and soft. Next is your parking brake right here. You gotta make sure that you are in neutral, which you'll feel the sticks click right in the middle. That way you're neutral, you're not moving at all. When you pull this down, the cat is out of park. You can lift the tiller and start going. So once you're almost ready to go, this little red button right here will turn the tiller on or off. Make sure it's on while you're running or tilling. So if you don't have it on, you cause a massive bump and a lot of times you end up backing over that bump and rocking the hell out of your cat. As well as you inside, it's not fun. These switches right here control your wipers, front and rear. Two different settings. You can put them all the way down 
where they continuously go for snowy conditions or rain. Same with the other one. This is your automatic Dumbo ear lift. Uh, that way when you lift the tiller, the Dumbo ears come up as well. If this is off, they will not, and they will just drag and stoop, and it is not fun. This little toggle right here is for your tiller. If your tiller is off to the side, say it's not perfectly straight, it's sagging a little bit, if you press this switch to the left, the tiller will straighten out and stay straight. If you push this toggle to the right, it'll be in trailer mode, which basically means as you're cruising around or driving around the mountain, the tiller will follow your cat tracks to try to help you not have to constantly be moving it left and right to follow your tracks. This switch right here is right, the other way is left. This rotator right underneath the RPM one, this is for your tiller speed. Uh, you can turn the speed up all the way or turn it all the way down. They go in increments and numbers. Right now I'm at zero because I don't have the tiller down. Usually on icy or harder pack conditions like it is right now, usually I run it about seven or eight. Makes it a nice smooth pass, processes it up just enough. I'm gonna start on this jump landing right now.